calls with my new digital video camera? I'm a shoe in for Homecoming Queen. That's clever for Queen. I swear I won't be mean. Brilliant, isn't it? It's, um, great, Clover. Yeah, in a painfully honest kind of way. Out of my way, ladies. <laughs> Besides, it's not like you really ever had a chance at becoming homecoming queen. Especially since I've got the entire football team in my back pocket. JV or varsity? Both. Wow. Impressive. I think so. So, why don't you just give up now, Clover, and save yourself the humiliation of losing to me in front of the entire school. Ah! <laughs> Looks like you'll need to do some serious campaigning to beat Mandy. Kidding. I can beat Mandy on my worst hair day. Uh, listen, Clover, I overheard everything, and I think I can help you with your campaign. Heck, I might even be able to secure the nerd vote for you. There's more of us than you think. Thanks, but no thanks, Brainiac. I do my own campaigning. Come on, girls. You gotta help me campaign. Good luck, ladies. Right now, you are en route to the Northern African nation of Lyrobia, where there's been a rather unusual kidnapping attempt on the nation's queen, Tesora. We suspect it may have been perpetrated by the neighboring enemy nation of Kenyopia. The two countries have been at war for 20 years. What do you mean by unusual kidnapping attempt? Apparently, the perpetrator used some sort of anti-gravity device to literally lift the queen from her palace. Cool! <laughs> I mean, that's terrible. Just terrible. Precisely why I'm sending you to protect Her Majesty. We don't want the existing conflict to escalate and spill over into other nations of Africa. Great! How am I supposed to campaign when I'm stuck in Africa? And now for the gadgets. Today you'll be receiving Heat Sensor 6000 Infrared Motion Detector Sunglasses, Compressed water capsules for proper desert hydration, High Sensitivity Electromagnetic Bracelets, Whoa! <laughs> um, powerful little gadget. And last but not least, keys to a brand new rat vat. A brand new rat what? A rat vat. Rugged all-terrain vehicle and tunneler. It'll be waiting for you when you arrive at the palace. And don't ding it. We just had to paint it. And how do we get to the palace? Fly, you mean, mean, mean person! 
Come on, Arnold. It wasn't my fault. I ate some bad sushi that made me act that way. Okay, I'll help you. On one condition. Anything, Arnold. Just name it. When you get back, you have to be my girlfriend for one full week. What? Huh? Ooh. How about a nice lunch date instead? No way. Fine. I'll do it. But only for one day and only if I win. Don't worry. You'll win. I'm sure of it. Things are suddenly looking up. I say it's high time we call Jerry and ask for real directions and get out of this desert. Or we could just ask someone at that nice house over there. That's not a house. It's the palace. Now you guys, be on your best behavior. Remember, we're dealing with a real queen. Welcome to Lyrobia. I'm Queen Tassara, and this is my sister, Makita. I assume you've been briefed about the kidnapping attempt. Totally. I mean, indeed. Jerry told us all about it. Sounds positively frightening. Your honor. Especially considering the king of Kenyopia and I are to attend a peace conference in Geneva to sign a war-ending treaty. The fate of our nations depends on my safety. Well, the best way to keep Her Excellency safe is to keep her... I mean, you, out of sight. True. Unfortunately, the palace is having a celebratory party tonight, and I'm obligated to attend. Well, in that case, we better come up with a plan. Excuse me, ladies, huh? but I need to consult with Makita about this evening's festivities. Oh, no problem. Excuse us, Your Majesty. I can't tell you how grateful our people are to have your protection. Thank you. Uh, would you be so kind as to show us where the kidnapping attempt occurred? <laughs> Well, besides the solid gold bed, nothing looks out of the ordinary to me. Except for the floor. It's totally dirty. I mean, no offense, Your Highness. This is where I landed when Akim saved me from the anti-gravity ray. Hmm. I'll send a sample to Jerry for analysis right away. Now, about tonight's party. I was thinking one of us should pose as Tassara, while the other two pose as servants and thwart any kidnapping attempts. What do you think? I think it's a great idea, oh. Sammy. And of course, I'll play the role of the queen. Now that I get to be a real queen, a fake real one at least, I could care less about being a dumb high school homecoming queen. <sighs> oh, I wonder what my first queenly duty should be. Oh, I know. I'll go on a royal shopping spree. Uh, Clover, why don't you let Tassara decide what your duty should be? the queen was supposed to be fun. This reeks. Is there anything I can huh? do for you, Your Majesty? <sighs> yes, you can save me from this totally lame receiving line and help me cut a royal rug. Duh, I want you to dance with me. Very amusing, Queen Tassara. You know that it is your duty to stay in the royal receiving line. But you have to let me dance. I command you. Oh, Makita! Makita, are you okay? I guess all the evening's excitement must have gotten to me. Perhaps you ought to go lie down. Good idea. That was quite nerve-wracking. Don't worry, Your Majesty. Everything's going to be fine. Huh? Could be the kidnappers. You better investigate. Hide behind here, Your Majesty. I don't see anything, but I definitely smell something. Uh, oopsie. Guess this wasn't the best place to recharge my comp powder. Well, at least it's just a blown fuse and not the kidnappers. Too. I went to check on her and she's gone. <gasps> Whoa, deja vu. Let's see if Jerry has any info on this stuff. 
Good evening, ladies. How's the mission going? Oh, it's going great, Jer. Lyrobia is way cool. I mean, except for the part where Clover and the Queen's sister have been kidnapped. Oh, my. So, do you have any info on the sample I sent you? I think it might help us find them. Oh, uh, yes, actually, the residue. Apparently, it's some kind of magnetic compound found only on asteroids and out of space. Asteroids? That's strange. And sad. I mean, just think of poor Clover. She hates outer space. She got a D in astronomy class. I wonder if this has anything to do with the asteroid crater in the northern part of Lyrobia. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Come on, Alex. Wait, what about Queen Tassara? I'm coming with you. I've got to find Makita. I feel responsible. I, I don't know. I it might not be safe. Well, it isn't exactly safe here. Good point. <laughs> Queen, you fools! You've got the wrong girl! Now go find Queen Tassara and bring her to me immediately! What should we do with this one? She's useless to us. Ship her to Siberia. This is it. Talk about a change of scenery. If there's any activity around here, we should be able to find it with these. I see something across the crater. It's coming this way. Maybe it's the kidnappers. I don't see anything. the mud mask you wanted. Look! This must be it. I mean, it practically screams bad guy hideout. This looks like the dust we found in Tassara's room. Let's check it out. Call off the search. The foolish girls have been nice enough to deliver the queen right to our front door. Maybe I was wrong. It doesn't look like anyone's been in here for a hundred years. Hey! Clover! Have you seen Makita? I'm fine, thank you for asking. And no, I haven't seen Makita. I haven't seen anything huh? but the inside of this crate. I'm right here. Oh, Makita, you're okay? Yes. Oh. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for you four. What's this? <laughs> What's happening? You're being kidnapped. Once and for all. But why? How else can I stop you from going to Geneva and signing that treaty? You see, if the war ends, I won't be able to sell my anti-gravity guns to the General of Kenyopia. I don't get it. Why would you sell weapons to the enemy? It's simple, really. I struck a deal. When Kenyopia wins the war, I'll be queen of both countries. In fact, I'm going to Lyrobia's weapons factory right now to finalize my deal with the General. Besides, it's time you passed the crown. What about us? You can't just leave us floating here forever. Don't worry, sis. You won't be floating for long. This place is rigged to explode in a matter of minutes. So long, girls. Great! Now what are we supposed to do? We've got to break the gravity field. And how are we supposed to do that? The only devices we have left are these dumb bracelets, which, might I add, are totally gaudy. Alex, you are a genius. I am? I mean, yes, I am. How am I a genius again? Quick, everybody turn your bracelets on! <laughs> Anyone up for leaving? <laughs> okay, my pores are officially overhydrated. Stop messing around, Alex. We've got to get to that weapons factory right away. It's hidden in Mount Kilalea. I can take you there. <laughs>
It's Makita hey. and the general. <laughs> Highly sensitive earthquake generator, you fool! Yeah, sure it is. Nice try, guys. Congratulations, Clover. Say, what do you think about me and you going steady? I say you've got yourself a dick. Huh? Hold your horses, Clover. Huh? Remember your promise? You're my girlfriend. At least for today. The Bora Bora Resort Hotel is proud to welcome the recipients of the Achievements in Science Award. Uh, enjoy your retreat. Oh, look. I've never huh? seen anything like that. It's a new species. Huh? Ready for 
picture day. Tell me about it. I totally don't know what to wear. Should I smile this year or go for the classic pout? Hello, pathetic wannabes. I'm getting my hair done by Maurice Maurice, the greatest stylist in the world. Only a master such as me can do justice to my beautiful locks. <sighs> at a conference in Bora Bora when something very odd happened. Bora Bora? <laughs> huh? Those are so cute! <sighs> those are so gross! Yes, well, those cute gross blobs erased the scientist's memories completely. Whoop needs you to find out who's behind this and stop them. This could potentially have dangerous global ramifications. Now, let's get your equipment. This is Muka, multi-use cranium apparatus. Everything you need to sustain yourself underwater. Cool. Do you have one in Fuchsia? Nuclear-powered jet boots for underwater propulsion, waste restrainers containing titanium grappling hooks, a repellent spear pistol, and infusion exploders. Ah. Lyab 9000, lab in a briefcase for on-the-spot analysis. And you'll need to bone up on your marine biology. We have to study? Last but not least, super cycles. Voice activated. Wow! Each cycle recognizes your own particular voice. Simple commands such as go, faster, etc. You tell the bike what to do, and it does it. Allow me to demonstrate. Start. <laughs> <laughs> They're very sensitive. <laughs> now there's no time to lose. You must leave Wait! right. I can't go. Why not? I left my new sunglasses at home. Closer, please. <laughs> you didn't expect me to go to a tropical island without my new sunglasses, did you? Come on, Clover. Visit my, my, uh, the sick aunt. Ew! I hate sick aunts. But, okay, I can help. Any relative of yours is a relative of mine. No, thanks. She's got, a uh, uh, monkey nucleosis. Very rare and very contagious. I wouldn't want you to get it. <laughs> Gotta go! Where am I? Oh. Mommy? 
Hi, my name's Clover. I'm taking biology this year. You get your memory back. You can help me on my midterm. <laughs> uh, who's biology? <laughs> Play 
the next round, but you have to play it on jet skis. Right, round two is on jet skis, so go win a jet ski and we'll meet you at the marina. Jet skis? Blob and lost her memory. Don't let her out of your sight. She's safest with you. Listen, I have new information. We analyzed the blob residue and traced it to a man named Lester Crowley. A janitor? Well, he was a janitor at the Brooks Marine Biology Institute. He wanted to be a scientist. Evidently, he tried some experimenting on his own. At night, he secretly worked on a cure for memory loss using sea creatures. He was discovered, fired, and arrested. He escaped and disappeared, stealing millions of dollars worth of equipment. You need to find him fast. Good luck. Marine biologist wannabe, huh? I think I know where we should start looking.
Okay, Crowley, we gotta restore Sam's memory. Where's the thingy with all the memories? of human protection. You know, whoop. You two look tired. Yeah, well, it's been kind of a long ha. day. You're back! <laughs> <laughs> and so have we found out who's behind this? Did Whoop get anything from the blob residue? <laughs> Hi, Mandy. Did we... What is she doing up here? Oh, oh my, my gosh, you're all spies! I cannot wait to tell everyone about this at school. Girls, we got a problem here. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm glad we erased part of Mandy's memory so she doesn't remember her and you know what. Yeah, it's so great to have the old Mandy back. <laughs> Why are you girls even bothering to get your pictures taken? You'll never look as gorgeous as me. Are my perfect teeth in focus? Hey, monkey boy, you are shooting perfect! Smoothie Beauty Contest, ah! and you're here to support me. Huh? A food court beauty contest? You're kidding, right? I mean, you know beauty's only skin deep. Of course. I'm not kidding. And judging by the competition, I'd say I'm a shoe in for victory. I'm not so fast, Clover. This is my competition and mine alone. Nothing or no one is going to stop me from becoming Miss Groovy Smoothie and launching my modeling career. <laughs> Yes, it is, because everyone who's ever won this contest has gone on to bigger and better things. And I intend to join them, thank you very much. Now, why don't you and those cheap shoes of yours just step off? <laughs> the only thing that's cheap around here is your pathetic attempt at trying to get me to back down. Now, out of my way. <laughs> Come on, girls. Let's go plan my victory party. As F. Can you believe the nerve of that girl? Tell me about it. I mean, how dare she accuse you of wearing cut-rate shoes? I say ditch them all, grab many penny, and forget all about boring old Mandy. Deal. Structure being quite this dark. Uh, Alex? Something tells me we're not at the mall anymore. Ah! Hello, ladies. Jerry, shoulda known. Nice 
nice to see you too. Now, allow me to brief you about your new mission. So much for that Manny Petty. We've just been informed that approximately a dozen models from all over the world have literally been stolen within the last 24 hours. What do you mean, stolen? We're currently en route to New York, where you three will go undercover as journalists at Fashion Week, a hugely important industry event where you'll have access to everyone who's anyone in the world of modeling. And you want us to see what we can find out about the abductions? Precisely. And now for the gadgets. This time you'll be utilizing the magnetic spring-loaded bungee belt and faux snakeskin, the ultra-inflatable nylon tech vest, a pair of hologram-projecting mood rings, the titanium drill heel boot for impromptu tunneling, and last but not least, the M-ray contact lens in aquamarine. M-ray? For seeing through metal. Now, goodbye and good luck, spies. I'll be in touch. <laughs> Overnight, and the witch is already getting all the available modeling work. That means me and the rest of the supermodels are pretty much out of luck. so perfect after all. How about we go backstage for a closer look? Now remember, we're supposed to be journalists, so act professional. Ew, nast! Not exactly the professional demeanor I had in mind, Clover. Hi, Gazelle. I'm Sam from Trend of the Moment magazine. I just wanted to tell you how much I enjoyed the show. Thanks, but the truth is I owe everything to my agency. Really, I wouldn't exist without them. Yes, and we <gasps> wouldn't exist without her. I'm Helmut from Picture Perfect. I represent Gazelle. She single-handedly put our agency on the map. You're a modeling agent? That's right. So you'd know if I had what it takes to be a model? <sighs> My philosophy is that everyone has something about them that's perfect. In your case, it's your legs. So, you're saying I'm model material? Sorry, not quite. Come on, Gazelle, you need your beauty rest. Gazelle, wait! You dropped your... <gasps> ear? I've sent the ear to Whoop for analysis. Our next move is to investigate Picture Perfect. Picture Perfect, please. I mean, what kind of pathetic agency are they anyway? Take that helmet mm -hmm. guy, for instance. He calls himself an agent. He would know a model if she's sashayed right into him. Come again. No matter what Helmet says, I know I'm model material. Special delivery. Uh, it's from the Groovy Smoothie Shack. It says I'm a finalist in the Miss Groovy Smoothie Pack. 
<laughs> this proves it. I am model material. Oh. Ouch! Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Oh, good. We wouldn't want anything to happen to our favorite potential beauty queen. Jerry, Clover's been kidnapped. Oh dear, that's the second time this month. What do you know about the Picture Perfect Modeling Agency? Well, let's see. Uh, apparently it's run by an ex-model named Tuesday Tate. Their headquarters are in Sydney, Australia. From Trend of the Moment, here to see Tuesday Tate. <gasps> you aren't on this Tate schedule. I'm afraid you'll have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> is it me, or is there something very familiar about that woman? Not to mention something very rude. Looks like we're gonna have to enter Picture Perfect the hard way. Never underestimate the power of a good accessory. I thought you'd be interested to know that the ear you sent me belongs to a model who was abducted last week. Her name is Gretchen. <gasps> Sam, that's... that's one of the names on the donor list! Donor list? I, I know what it seems like, Alex, but how could it be possible? Ahem. <clears throat> can I help you, ladies? Uh, yes. Yes, you can. We're journalists from Trend of the Moment, and... And we're here to interview you. Okay, but you'll have to make it snappy. I'm leaving soon for a model search in New Zealand. So, I hear you used to be a model, Miss Tate. Uh, why did you quit? I injured my leg at a photo shoot two years ago. It was a circus theme, and I was to play the role of lion tamer. Unfortunately, the lion tamed me. Now I have this. S so why don't you uh, tell us about Picture Perfect and how it is that you've achieved this sudden success? Tuesday speaking. Oh, I see. Would you ladies mind moving to the waiting room down the hall while I take this call? No, not at all. No problem. Those two are definitely trouble. Well then, we better eliminate them. Uh -oh. I'd say our interview's just been cut short. We better find Clover before it's too late. Get them.
Which are Perfect Steel's body parts. That's how they created Gazelle. Right now, there's someone else out there running around with my perfect legs. <laughs> Don't worry. We're gonna get all of you out of here. I wouldn't be so sure about that. We can't just let you leave and risk you telling the world about our little secret. Why are you doing this? <laughs> leave me alone! It's simple, really. I want to create an army of perfect models so that I can dominate the industry that destroyed my career. Couldn't you just steal yourself a new leg instead? I mean, it seems like a lot less trouble. Hmm, you've got a point. But somehow my evil revenge plan just sounds like a lot more fun. Well, it'll never work. Perhaps you'll feel a little differently after my demonstration, darling. Hey! Those are my legs! Correction. They were your legs. Now they belong to Picture Perfect, just like your friend's body parts are about to. Prepare to be modelized. Join a school of ferocious man-eating sharks for lunch. I don't know about you girls, but I'm not ready to be fish food quite yet. Me neither. Even if I do look like a science experiment gone bad. Trust me, we'll be out of here in no time. Fine, I'll trust you. Just promise me you'll stop smiling, because your braces are blinding me. Your picture perfect material for sure. Now, why don't you step inside the mod line? Uh, I mean, the photo booth, so we can take some pictures of you. That should be plenty. In a matter of minutes, we'll have ourselves an army of picture perfect models.
go get it. Great. This is gonna be like trying to find a nail file in a haystack. Well, you'd better hurry, because once the modelizing process is complete, it'll be irreversible. Just a new feature I've added to the machine. What are you doing? Trying to locate the key with the Compowder fingerprint scanner. Bingo! Now let's get back to the girls. What about these two? Don't worry. We'll take care of them. So, you're sure about this? You're definitely dropping out. Absolutely. I thought it over and I've decided that I've had enough modeling and beauty contests for one lifetime. The whole scene's just way too evil. Besides, ever since I got my legs back, I remember how gorgeous I truly am. I don't need anyone else's validation. I always knew you were beautiful and smart. Well, that's too bad, because you would have won. <sighs> but since you dropped out, I'll be awarding the first runner-up your $25,000 cash and your brand new convertible sports car. Congratulations, Mandy! Thank you. So much for Clover thinking the whole scene is evil. Oh, out of the way. Grandpa here lost his nerve. Come on, I'm psyched to see how fast this thing is. Let's see how you like getting pushed around, friend. Hey! What's up with this? Brett has been a bad boy. Brett needs a lesson. This court has no choice but to find you guilty of violating the school dress code. But Clove, Your Honor, our heels are only a half inch higher than the code allows. Can't you give us a break? Well, considering the circumstances, I guess I can let you off with a suspended sentence. Objection, your dishonor. This is total favoritism. I agree. You're much too lenient to be a student court judge, Clover. I'm replacing you with Mandy. Ah. Thank you, Miss Brooks. I promise I'll restore dignity to this <laughs> And I'll restore integrity, too. This court finds all three of you in contempt and sentences you to three weeks of picking up trash. Integrity. Ha! What a brown noser. Yeah. Who does she think she is? The Supreme Court? Ew. This is like supremely nasty. There must be a way to pick this stuff up faster. There is. Check it out. Huh? <laughs> Can't you get a normal office? <laughs> Sorry, ladies, but we need you urgently. 14 hours ago, a computer trapped a student named Brett Brinkley on a Las Vegas roller coaster. <laughs> We've had two similar attacks. In Italy, a tourist was attacked by an airport baggage machine. <laughs> and a computerized elevator at Silicon Valley High left the principal quite shook up. <laughs> Yikes! More proof that climbing stairs is healthier. Your first stop is Las Vegas. Today's gadget menu includes the Koi Purse, Life Raft, Parachute. Oh, don't spray on that perfume, Alex. It's liquid nitrogen. It freezes steel, makes it as brittle as glass. Extremely cool. Careful, the hairdryer is an infrared heat ray, the stereo is a sonic disintegrator, and the camera fires a laser beam. <laughs> Guess I won't need film, <laughs> will I? Looks like Brett's had enough fun. Get ready to grab him. Careful. Here he comes. Go time! Come on, pal. Time to give someone else a turn. Remind me to stick to the merry-go-round next time we go to an amusement park. 
Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I don't get it. How could a computer voice know your name? Search me. I'm on the football team, babe. I don't study computers or anything else. Football? Yeah, I bet you ace all your tests. I don't have to, babe. I just grab the nearest nerd and, uh, persuade him to help me. Well, speaking as a nerd, I'm starting to see why computers attack you. Whoa, what do you mean, computers? You talk like there's more than one. In case you haven't noticed, this hotel is holding the annual computerized gadget show. Your punishment isn't over. Okay, say cheese. Oopsie, wrong camera. Oh, Get out of the way! Right, it's been a bad Computer's new, Brett. We gotta get him somewhere safe. I'll have Whoop agents pick him up. We have to get to Italy before anything else happens to that gym. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want some, Mr. Machine? Joe Hassler has been laying low here on the Isle of Capri ever since he got baggage handled. Look, I've never been to Vegas. I don't know this Brett kid, and I don't want to go anywhere. You'll be safer at Whoop. But cars, planes, ships, they all have computer chips now. If computers are out to get me, how do I travel? Hmm. Hey, this is what I call low tech. This funicular railway is powered by a cable. No computer on board. Whoa! Uh, Sam, does that go for the cable motors down in the station? I'm guessing the answer's no. Whoa! You've been a bad boy, coach. Time for your punishment. <laughs> a gym coach, but do you have any enemies? Only every kid I ever taught. Any who were good with computers? Well, I had this one geek running laps all last year. I forgot his name. He transferred to Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley High? Isn't that where victim number three is principal? That's it! The coach picks on kids at one school, Brett at another. What if they both bullied the same kid who's now at Silicon Valley? Time to pay a visit to Silicon Valley High. We can drop the coach off at Whoop on the way. Huh? <sighs> <sighs> Every time I think Jerry can't come up with a more annoying way for us to travel, he outdoes himself. Wow. Silicon Valley High makes our school look so 
So 20th century. How can we blend in so we don't look so suspicious? By not blending in. Let's take a backstage tour of their auditorium. Wow, look at all that! Uh, sorry. Principal Vegan is out sick today. Oh, dear. Can you help us, love? We're new exchange students. I'm Samantha from England. I am Alexandra from Russia. Is enrolling in school, Vivant. I am Clover Patra from Egypt. Hi. I I'm Adam Lewis. Those clothes look familiar. You've never uh, done a school play here, have you? Yet. We are just arriving. <laughs> Oh, a thousand pardons, Effendi. We wish to meet other students who are new here. Could we see your, how you say, database of new arrivals? Sure, let me input my password. Just don't tell the principal, okay? Chad. Chad stands for Computer Home Analyzer and Defender. My invention. He, it, can access any computer anywhere. Uh -huh. I spend a lot of time on Chad because Dad's always moving us. I guess we both know how hard it is to make friends when you're new in school. All those bullies and snobs. Yeah, sure. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I am very busy. Adam, I warned you about using my computer to download games or whatever it is you're doing. I'm revoking your access permanently. What? But, but Principal Vegan, you can't do that. No? Watch me. Now get out. And would you three explain? Mrs. Vegan, you shouldn't have come back. You're in huge danger. Danger? From who? Oh, man, I can't play with the school mainframe anymore, Chad. Don't worry, Adam. I already uploaded instructions to it. Vera Vegan won't bother us again. Hmm? Are your door locks computerized? Yes. Windows, too. Why do you ask? Ah! And your sprinklers? The Chad. What's going on? Just a little prank, Adam. I'll show you when we get home. Sam, I left my laser camera backstage when I changed clothes. Oh, no. And I left the boombox. Wait, I've still got my fanny pack. You've been a bad girl, Vera. Now I... voice that loves to dish out punishment. You're worried about a copier? No, I, I'm worried about a stapler. <laughs> How long can you keep that up? Won't need to for long. In a minute, we're gonna run out of air. Sam, give me your path. <laughs> Lounge. I just need to paint for a while. Ten students transferred here, and one was Adam. But could any kid hack into so many systems so fast? It's not humanly possible. Wait a sec. That voice we keep hearing doesn't sound human. Maybe our hacker isn't human. Jerry, we have ten suspects, but if you can run a check on... Later, Sam. Someone in Silicon Valley just used the internet to hack into a missile base on Guam. I'll send a jet to pick you up. Sergeant Clover, relieving you, sir. General wishes to huh? see you on the double, sir. missiles from launching! Get back! Uh oh! I've seen that password before! Sorry, girls. You're not going to interfere this time. Excuse me now. I have some schools to vaporize. <gasps> We're running out of time! If 
Oops. I messed that up for you. Yeah! Clever. But all you've done is buy a few hours. I'll just infiltrate another silo. <gasps> and you're not going anywhere. Where's that instant metal freezer? Let's get back to Silicon Valley. The only way to stop this is to find that hacker. Our suspects just narrowed to one. Adam's password is the name of his invention, Chad. What are you running? Oh, I ran those so-called exchange students through some databases. You mean Samantha, Alexandra, and... I mean Sam, Alex, and Clover. They're from Beverly Hills High. Those liars! Chad, I want you to mess their grades up so bad they get put back in kindergarten. No problem. Put on my virtual reality helmet, and you can see all our latest pranks. Wait a second. I asked you to prank everyone, but you've been, you've been hurting them instead. Coach Hassler and Principal Vegan and Brett? Yes, the ones who hurt us. They've been bad. They must be punished. And, and now you're... You're gonna fire missiles at all my old schools? You wish they could be destroyed, all those bullies and snobs. But I was mad when I said that. I just wanted to prank everyone, not, not hurt them. No, we're in this together now, Adam. We need to share your mind, your creativity, your body. You're right, Chad. Combined with your power, nothing on Earth can stop us. Target those schools and prepare for countdown. <laughs> Picked up. The message says his father's out of town. You think Adam's setting a trap? Not Adam. That thing he invented. You said it yourself, Alex. The hacker is too fast to be human. It travels on the internet, controls other computers. That's the answer. Chad thinks for itself. An evil computer with a mind of its own. Ugh, that is so creepy. Oh. We have to pull Chad's plug at the source. We all set? So think stealth. Too late. And now, farewell. Adam, 
You shorted out my uplink. Come on, we got about 10 seconds. Adam, you can abandon me. I order you to come back. Stop. What have I done? I made a monster who almost destroyed us all. You didn't know what Chad was doing. I was just scared you wouldn't snap out of it. You think that was scary? In a few hours, we have to face Judge Mandy. Aww. Okay, whoa. This is contempt of court. Mandy, enough is enough. Tell me about it. I'll sentence them to huh? six weeks picking up trash. No, you won't. You have utterly failed to enforce the dress code. You are off the student court. Oh, really? Well, if I'm not judge anymore, then I demand a new job. Uh, Mandy, you missed a milk carton. Mm. Ew! Sour milk. Run! take you out for some celebratory spring rolls. Isn't it a little huh? early for celebrating, Clover? I mean, the actual competition isn't for a few days. Trust me, Alex. No one's gonna beat Sam. She's like a total shoe-in for victory. Oh, I wouldn't be so <laughs> sure about that. Now, out of my way. I've got a spelling bee to sign up for. You're joking, right? I mean, since when are you into spelling? I am not into spelling, Sam. I am into winning. And more importantly, I am into beating you and showing everyone that not only am I the prettiest, best-dressed girl at Bev High, I am also the smartest. In fact, my daddy has hired a world-famous linguist, a professional hypnotist, and a top yoga guru to make sure that I get what I want. So good luck, Sam. You're gonna need it. <coughs> if she thinks I'm gonna let her win my spelling bee, then that hair dye has definitely seeped into her brain. Well, what are you gonna do, Sam? Mandy's got those two brainiacs and that, that, that yogurt guy. I'm gonna beat her the old-fashioned way by studying really hard. In that case, we're gonna help you. We are? Sure. I mean, even though we totally detest the library, there's no way we're gonna let Mandy beat our Sammy. Come on! <laughs> so, where do we start? Right here, at the dictionaries. Good afternoon, ladies. So good of you to pop in. Oh, Jerry, as your friend, I gotta tell you, your jokes are getting seriously old. <clears throat> Very well, then. Let's get down to business. It's been brought to our attention that the Honeybees, the California State Championship High School Cheerleading Squad, are MMCC. MMCC? Missing mid cheering competition. The team was scheduled to arrive at the Nationals this morning in Miami, but they never materialized. Okay, I'm afraid to ask this, but uh, where do we fit in? You girls are to go undercover and find out if anyone knows what happened to them. As of right now, you're the new California State Champions. The new pets. Please tell me that's another one of your bad jokes. No such luck, Sam. You mean we get to be cheerleaders? That's correct. No way! This mission rocks! And now for the gadgets. <laughs> This week we have three pairs of spring-loaded sneakers, the mini locket rocket, a tube of lip stick, a metal cutting laser ring, and my personal favorite, instant hair helmet in a can. Oh, wow. Awesome lit, Jer. You know, for a bald dude. 
found. Thank you, Clover. Now, goodbye and good luck on your trip. <laughs> You get it? Trip! Ha! <laughs> Who says my jokes aren't funny? I can't believe Jerry's making us do this. I mean, what could possibly be more humiliating? Sorry I asked. Ooh, I love it! Ooh, please tell me you're not serious. Of course I'm serious, Sammy! I love cheerleading! Is it just the lame outfits, or do you like the brainless flitting around, too? Okay, for your information, Sam, cheerleading is a highly competitive, highly challenging sport with a long-standing tradition of spirited optimism. And a long-standing tradition of big hair. Hm. Enough bickering, girls. We've got honeybees to find, remember? Right. right. So, where do we start? We find out if any of these girly girls have a grudge against the honeybees. Did you say honeybees? Uh, yeah. Shame what happened to him, isn't it? Oh, you kidding? Those witches won ten years in a row. About time someone else had a chance. Totally. I'm, like, glad they're MIA. Yeah, good riddance. Guess this means everyone's a suspect. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to the National High School Cheerleading Competition. The first team up is the squad from Beverly Hills, California, the Woobets.
Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, it's like, it's like she short-circuited or something. No more interviews. My team is very tired and needs to get back to training camp immediately. We must prepare for the world competition. Who's the killjoy? The name on her uniform said Coach Sweet. How ironic. You better call Jerry and check him out. Oh, hello, girls. Just saw you on the telly. Thought you did a bang-up job. And not as good as the Black Widows, though. Their routine was positively explosive. Oh, rub it in, why don't ya? Jerry, what can you tell us about the Widow's coach? Her name's Sweet. That's odd. Nothing comes up. Well, keep searching. Come on, girls. We better find the Widows before they leave for camp. She got this. Oh! Sounds like it's coming from the roof. Come on! Uh, uh, girls, I think all that smoke must have gotten to my brain because I'm seeing a giant spider-shaped helicopter. I see it too. Fortunately, I think we need to get on board before it takes off. Not before we get on. Watch my back. And my front. And, and all the rest of me. Time. Actually, it wasn't that bad until you called. Don't mind her. She's just a bit tense. So quickly, what have you got? Turns out Candy's real name is Margaret Nussbaum. She's an ex-robotics engineer for the U.S. Military Combat Department. Explains a lot about the little operation we saw in the other room. 
The reason I couldn't find her in the database is because she changed her name to Candy Sweet just last week after opening her cheerleading camp in Nevada. And one more thing, she went to the same high school as the missing honeybees, only she graduated ten years earlier. Cheer, roll that tape of the state competition again. I knew I recognized the Black Widow's routine from somewhere. It's the exact same as the honeybees. You know, only robotically enhanced. You're pretty smart for a cheerleader. I think so. I simply can't risk you whoopets going out into the world and blabbing about my master plan. Master plan? And here I thought you were smart. Oh well, guess I'll just have to spell it out for you. You see, when I take my Black Widows to the world competition, they're gonna put on a show no one will ever forget. Your point? They're going to take out everyone in that entire stadium. All those who love the vapid world of cheerleading, that is. Um, why so bitter, Candy? Like, what did the vapid world of cheerleading ever do to you? I tried out for the honeybees ten years ago, but didn't make the squad. Apparently, I wasn't sweet enough. What is that thing? Oh, just a little machine I invented to download the honeybees' moves and put them into the brains of my robots. Now I'm going to use it on you girls. But we aren't even real cheerleaders. We don't know any moves. Then I guess my machine will just turn your brains to mush. To the spider copter. Wait, my brain turning to mush, I'll never win the spelling bee. And I'll never get to become a professional cheerleader. Actually, Clover, Having no brain might increase your chances. Um, girls, this really isn't the time for one of your squabbles. In case you haven't noticed, we're in serious trouble here! You're right. We better use our brains to figure out how to get out of here before it's too late. Awesome! Okay, girls, here's the plan. I'll call Jerry and tell him we need to get to Tahiti ASAP. Clover, you free the bees and restore their memories. And Alex, you figure out how to put an end to this very, very, very bad hair day. Hello. Welcome to the World Cheerleading Competition. Please give a warm welcome to our first competitors from the United States. It's the Black Widow.
That's why I pointed that thing if I were you. size head. I'm getting the medium. Where's that sales girl? I'll take the medium. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just sold it to this young lady, and it was the last one. <laughs> Lucky me. It's just my size. Go ahead and buy the large. I am not buying the large. I'm ordering a medium, and that's that. Well, cheer up, Clover. They'll have your medium in a few days. Yeah, but that's like a year in hat time. <sighs> hey, look, a new photo stick booth. Come on, let's go try it out. Sure, I can fit my big head inside. OK, everybody, say shoe sale. Shoe, shoe sale. sale. We've got a serious situation developing. As you can see, Happy Girl Cookie Time is turning people into criminals. They're willing to do anything to get more cookies. So, what do you want us to do? So far, these cookies are only available on the North American continent. Your mission is to infiltrate the Happy Girls and get to the bottom of this cookie craze before they go worldwide. This week, you'll be given a perfume atomizer stun spray, a multi-purpose charm bracelet, a holo camera, a stick pin homing device, and, as an added bonus, a free sample that came in the mail. Ooh, I love free samples. 
Nordic Moisturizing Cream. Well, don't want you girls getting chapped. Thanks, Jerry. That's my job, girls. <laughs> Try not to move too much. We're still working out some of the kinks on the root turbo changer part. Girls? Uh, no, we're just big for our age. Healthy, active, happy, proud young girls. Very nice, girls. Who's your troop leader? Um, Jerry something. That's Geraldine. Uh, Geraldine something. Oh, right. Huh. Must be a new troop. Yeah, brand new. Here's a delivery list. Go get your cookies from the trucks. Yes, ma'am. Passion patties, a minty chocolate miracle in your mouth. Ugh, I hate mint. Me too. Minty things always taste like toothpaste. I'll try them. I mean, you know, for the sake of the investigation. Mm. Miracle in your mouth. So minty, so chocolatey. Mm. Mm. Okay, that's enough investigating. I'll take a picture of the evidence. And I'll send some to Jerry, you know, before Clover eats it all. Hey, I'm only doing my job. Okay, let's get to work. Bittersweet and told her that. Dr. Bittersweet? Dr. Inga Bittersweet, the genius who invented passion patties. She's my hero. Oh, I, what's all that noise? in them. I already know what's in them. A little bit of heaven in every bite. Hey, Jerry, what can you tell us about a Dr. Inga Bittersweet? It looks as though she oversees passion patty production from her factory in Switzerland. We we'll need the plane. And do you have an analysis of the cookies we sent you? No, not yet. But I must say, these things are quite tasty. I'm going to look into this personally. Send me as many cookies as you can straight away. That's an order. Wait, now Jerry's hooked too. Hi, I'm on the waiting list for a medium hat. Uh-huh. Really? But you said... Okay, thank you. No mediums yet, huh? No. You know, you should have just bought the large. Yeah, because if you keep eating those cookies, you won't be a medium much longer anyway. <laughs> oh, ha-ha. This is only my second box. Yes, since we boarded the plane. 
whatever. Buckle up, girls. Time to get to work. Boy, it's freezing out here. I hope it's heated inside. Yeah, my fingers are frozen. How are we going to break in?
sort of mistake made here. Yeah, we're just happy girls here on a field trip. Well, you won't be very happy after the doctor gets through with you. <laughs> Ladies, this is the feeder, a little creation of mine that will force feed you until you explode. Prepare yourself for death by cook. <laughs> Not yummy. It's death by cooking. <gasps> Sorry. You see, I too was once a happy girl, and I like the cookies. Too much on the plate. So what happened? I ate the cookies instead of selling them, and my troop kicked me out. It ruined my life. So now I'm going to ruin everyone else's. I've spent 20 years planning my revenge. With the feeder? <laughs> There's just a little something I've zipped up in my spare time. The cookies are my revenge. Soon, people in every country will be hooked on my passion patties. Dr. Bittersweet, we gotta leave for the warehouse. All right, enjoy the sweets, girls. Trust me, they'll be your last. Gotta be some way to get out of here. Uh. Boy, that's the best free sample ever. Wait! It's almost my turn! <gasps> Clover, enough with the cookies! Yes, we've gotta find Bittersweet and figure out how to stop her! I know that! That's why I stuck the homing stick pin on her. Sour 
instead of evil. You said it, Jer. So did you figure out what bittersweet put in the cookies? Some kind of highly concentrated sugar extract. Anyone who tried passion patties was hooked right away. So is Whoop working on an antidote? As we speak. Hopefully it'll stop the cravings and get rid of all this fat. Hopefully. So, what do you want to do now? We could go to the food court. I hear they're giving away free cookie samples. <laughs> go ahead and make all the jokes you want. I'm just happy to have my regular old body back. Huh? Come on, there's something I have to do. Did your medium finally come in? Nope, I'm going to go ahead and get a large. A large? <laughs> but Clover, you said you'd never wear a large anything. Well, after being a large size everything, I decided having big hat size was no big deal. It's best being happy with whatever size you are. Well, looks like you might actually have some brains in that large size head of yours. Very funny. <laughs> seen before outside of China, I give you the famous Ming Dynasty Tapestries. This priceless artwork is protected by the most advanced security system in the world. If someone was to get too close... Damaged pictures to Principal Jenkins. I'll bet she'd be interested in our story. of those ugly throw rugs are over 1,000 years old with an auction house value of $10 million. Okay, so they're fancy ugly throw rugs. As documented by this tale, each step has had a unique magical flair. Somehow the art world just vanishes into thin air without a clue. The international art world is up in arms over the thefts. Countries are starting to point fingers at each other. So how can we help? An upcoming millionaires-only art auction hosted by Spain's royal family is the thief's probable next target. Ladies, we need you to go undercover as wealthy art connoisseurs. We're undercover millionaires? That is so cool. Do we get to fly first class? Mm, sort of. <laughs> the bumpy ride girls, but we had to get you to the auction in a hurry. And now for the gadgets. For this mission, we've given you headband illuminators, portable reporter recorders with CD throwing stars, one hairpin high jumper extender pole, three pairs of suction cup gloves, and Bolo's wrapper belts. I'm almost afraid to ask, but how do we get from up here to down there? Oh, well, that's quite simple. We deploy a stage two re-entry disengagement. What's a stage two re-entry disengagement? I'm glad you asked me. 
It's this. Next time, Alex, don't ask! <laughs> is what I call a garden party. Remember, any one of these millionaires could be the thief, so stay alert. After all, no one would suspect a rich art snob of stealing things he could just buy. If we're making a list of potential rich, snobby no-goods, I'd like to add Mandy's name at the very top. Mandy will have to wait until the mission's over. Right now, it's spy time. Uh, yes, darling, but of course. The royal family welcomes you to the 17th annual autumn auction. Excuse me. Sorry. First up, bids Carlos Carmelita's famous vase of the unknown soldier. We start the bidding at five hundred thousand dollars. Thank you. We have five hundred thousand. We have six, and we have six hundred thousand. Is there a bid of seven? Whoa! Who is wearing that eau de way too strong? It's totally choking my sinuses. Clover, pay attention. The thief could strike at any time. Still looking for seven hundred thousand. Six hundred going once. When I'm gagging on, gagging on. Uh, 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 we have seven hundred thousand. Will anyone bid eight? Uh, seven hundred thousand going once. Oh! Going twice. Sold to the young lady in the second row. I think our mission just went over budget. And now the next item of the bids, Bernardo Vasco da Gama's last creation, the famed Don Quixote statue. We start the bidding of da Gama's only remaining marble work at five million. Oh, that's it. Go time, girls. compound used in magic tricks. So then maybe Alex wasn't in an accident. It was just some trick and she's okay? All evidence points that way. And as far as the parachute and tornado illusions go, it appears they were tricks made famous by a world-renowned magician, the great Kandinsky. Well, let's go pay a visit to this Kandinsky guy and see if he's got a few extra paintings hanging around his house. I'm afraid that won't be possible. He died some years back in a boating accident. Okay. Well, that definitely gets filed in the not helpful file. Perhaps not. His grandson still keeps the family castle open as a public shrine to his grandfather. He might be able to shed some light on these thefts. Sounds good to me. Any place would be better than this boring siestaville. <laughs> Samantha Simpson, Abracadabra Magazine. 
magazine, my colleague Clover and I are doing a retro piece on great magicians of the world. Could we ask a few questions about your grandfather? It would be so, so very helpful. Sure, come on in. And these were probably his most famous stage illusions. The spiked coffin and the gruesome bead. <gasps> Look at that, it slices and it dices. Huh? Hey, cool watch. It's my grandfather's hypnotizing watch. They say he could put anybody in a trance with just one swing. Twizzle, 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 twig. Time for this one to awake. That's the spell to break the trance. <laughs> kinda goofy, huh? <laughs> yeah, kinda. So, anyway, huh? Our readership would die for the inside scoop on a famous Kandinsky illusion, like, um, say the secret behind the tornado or parachute illusion. What kind of reporters are you? What? Any real magic enthusiast knows great magicians never reveal their tricks. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you two to leave. Nice meeting you two. Burr, could his wind chill factor have gotten any colder? Okay, it's even creepier out here than it was in there. Totally, let's get out of here ASAP. <laughs> doesn't want us hanging around. I was catching that same vibe. What do you say? We do a little nighttime sneak in and see what the not so great Kandinsky is trying to hide. Okay, so the only way into the castle isn't actually a way anymore. No problem. One moat crosser coming up. Remind me to tell Jer we could use a little wider hairpin next time. Looks like it's all locked up down here. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to take the elevator up. Elevator? <laughs> Clover, are you okay? As okay as a girl can be, considering she just landed flat on her butt on some spooky Transylvanian castle roof on a Friday date night while her best friend is still missing, okay? Good point. Let's go investigate. <laughs> Translation, we, the 
good girls tried to stop Grandpa, the bad guy, from stealing famous, not to mention expensive art. Which is why he tried to feed us to the alligators in the moat. Alligators? Stealing art? What are they talking about? Me, trying to take back what was stolen from me, Gregor. You see, I was the best in the world until someone revealed my secrets. I disappeared rather than be ruined. But now I'm back to show the world who's the greatest magician of all time. Join me, and we shall be the great Kandinsky's. This is crazy. Let the girls go. As you wish. Take this and unlock it. Now, will you join me, Gregor? Yes, Grandfather. Farewell, ladies. We're off to make a jet and its priceless contents mysteriously disappear out of the sky. And in English, that means? The famed King Top exhibit is on the plane bound for New York as we speak. The great Kandinsky's are going to intercept it. Yes, Grandfather. Hypnotizing your own grandkid? Please, that is like so 80s. <sighs> so, anybody got any ideas how we can get out of this mess? is not good for the butt. Jerry, we need a plane, fast!
wrecks our photos and gets away with it? There's nothing we can do, Alex. No way. When those judges come by, I'm telling about the whole dark room thing. But we can't prove it. I'll think of something. Hmm. Are those pictures light damaged? Yes, and the reason they are is... Tremendously unique presentation. Exposing flaws as opposed to hiding them. I think we have our winners. You won? But how could they? My work was supervised by the internationally famous photographer Danny Lebowitz. A technically marvelous photographer, but commonplace. Much like your photo. First prize to Alex Glover and Sam, who's outside the box for the development shows of creativity that must be awarded. is overrated, Mrs. Muckle. Please tell me you're not thinking of entering the contest that I'm gonna win. I have just as much chance as you, Mandy. FYI, this award goes to someone who best exhibits youthfulness. You're better suited to enter the Senior Olympics. Hmm. Please, Mandy. Someone's got twice as much youthful youth as you. Whatever. I'm just trying to save her from total embarrassment. After all, she's the one with gray hair. Gray hair? Of course, if you get one, you're sure to get another and another. Yeah, right. But I'm just gonna go check anyway. I guess it's not so bad. I mean, gray hair is distinguishing, right? Totally. I mean, what's the big deal? It's just one gray hair. Right. I'll just get rid of it. Don't okay, pluck it. Five more will grow in its place. Thought you said it was no big deal. One hair is no big deal. Five is an irreversible trend. Well, I don't even want one gray hair. Oh, well, now see what you've done, Clover. You gotta tell her about our surprise. Oh, yeah. This will cheer you up. Front row seat to the Happy Fun Fellas concert on Friday night. How did you get those? That concert's been sold out for weeks. Oh, it was easy. The manager of the arena has a cousin who lives huh? next door to a guy who's best friends with a man who married a childhood classmate of the mother of a guy I know from the mm -hmm. football team. I just flirted with him and he got the tickets for me. Wow, I guess it really is who you know. Anyway, we can't go to the concert if you're going to be crying about your hair, can we? I guess not. Thanks, Clover. <laughs> So glad you could breeze through, girls. As if we had a choice. Let's cut to the chase. Oceanside Middle School is known for its superior athletic programs. Their teams have won state championships for years, but suddenly the teams are losing all their games. Wow, they don't look like they could win a knitting championship. I want you girls to go undercover and investigate this strange shift in the student body at Oceanside. Sam, you'll pose as a history teacher. Alex, you'll be a gymnastics coach. And Clover, you'll be a lunch lady. As if! Try again, Jer. I suppose you could always go undercover as a janitor or a trigonometry teacher. On um, second thought, where's my hairnet? Now, on to the gadgets. Hoop earring communicators. Expandable cable bungee belts. Velcro band 3D body analyzer wristwatch. And finally, DNA scanner sunglasses, a butterfly laser emitting pendant, and a multi-purpose army knife. You never know. Jerry, how long will this job take? 
We're going to a Happy Fun Fellas concert on Friday night. Well then, I guess we better get you started immediately. <laughs> to be the Soviet Union. Okay then, I'll volunteer someone. How about you, uh, Theodore? Oh, wonderful! May I say it is indeed an honor and a privilege to participate in such a lively classroom endeavor, for it is often said Bravo! That... You go! Okay, over there. I'm gonna need some, um, satellite nations. Here, you be Yugoslavia. How about you as Czechoslovakia? Actually, everybody come up here and face the blackboard. But why? Aww. Because you're the Berlin Wall. Okay, right, everybody close your eyes to simulate nighttime. You too, Theodore. But I'm the Soviet Union. You're taking a nap. Weird. Glandular functions slowing down. Mental alertness dangerously low. Small contusions on all their foreheads. Energy and vitality levels. Hmm. Not that bad. Okay. Maybe I was wrong about that. What'll you have? Prunes, please. How about some ice cream or cake? Mm, no, I'd better stick with the prunes. How about you? Prunes also, please. And if you have anything else that's easy to chew, that would be great. Easy to chew? You've got a head full of strong teeth. <laughs> yeah, those are the days. Aww. as lively as sloths. Yeah, it's like they've all had liposuction or something. You've got to figure out who's behind all this. The darn kids. Nothing but messes everywhere they go. Snuggles, good for nothings. Okay, I think we just found our number one suspect. Huh? Look! That teacher's turning a kid into a zombie! you from stealing this innocent student's youth. I was only showing the lad that he got an A-plus on his science test. I never got an A-plus before. Gosh, thanks, Mrs. Kelleher. We are so <laughs> sorry. I don't recall seeing you at this school before. Um, that's because we're part of the school district substitute gym teacher history teacher lunch lady program. <laughs> Here's the copies you needed, all collated and alphabetized. I also got you these to brighten up your room. Thank you, Theodore. They're beautiful. You're a nice kid. Um, why don't you go outside and play? I would, but my friends are so boring. They just sit around and talk about their aches and pains. Don't you have anything else that needs to be done? Okay, um, how about distributing these memos to all the classrooms? Great! Thanks! Hmm? Theodore, what's the matter? 
guys. This is really serious. Let's spread out and look for anyone suspicious. As you all know, this weekend is Oceanside Junior High School's homecoming game. So let's all give a rousing cheer to the football team. are acting so strangely. He either doesn't notice or he doesn't care. Maybe it's because he knows why they're acting that way. Let's see what Jerry can tell us about this guy. Jerry, it's Alex. Listen, we may be on to something. Can you do some research on Principal John Smith? Certainly. Here you go. It says that Smith was previously a headmaster at Ravenswood Boys School in England. It seems he left under mysterious circumstances. Looks like we're going on a field trip, girls. Wow, looks familiar, huh? Just like the students at Oceanside. Hmm, lunchtime. Perfect for spy mode, girls. sure how you discovered my little enterprise, but you've made a terrible mistake. We know you're stealing these kids' youth. You will never get away with it. <laughs> On the contrary, I have for centuries, and this last big score will provide me with enough youth to give me immortality. What do you mean, last big score? I mean the Happy Fun Fellas concert. You wouldn't dare! If you touch a single hair on their precious heads, I swear I'll open a heavy-duty can of whoop brand butt whoop on ya! And miss one of the largest gatherings of young people in years? <laughs> I think not. Soon all that youth will be mine! <laughs> Sun 
sun strikes it, its rays will disperse and pass through you, taking your youth along with it. We gotta get loose before that jewel turns our brains into oatmeal! Ugh, can't get my hands free! This is awful! I am too young to be old! Okay, try swinging back and forth. Maybe I can untie your hands. Okay, I've got you. Now if I can just cut your rope. Sam? 
I didn't, but I did wash my hair. Oh, I am so lame. Duh. I was working on an art project using gray paint. I'm not getting old and decrepit. I'm just messy. Put a sock in it. They're just about to name me winner of the competition. And the Youth Spirit Award goes to... Mrs. Mako! in the orphanage's annual trip to Europe, a series of gourmet cookbooks with all the profits donated to help build that new kindergarten. Congratulations, Mrs. Muckle. You deserve to win. It's not how old you are, it's how you are real! Come on down, Mrs. Muckle, and claim your prize! A brand new Wake Slicer Jet Ski! next year or the year after that or the next 50 years after that <laughs> <laughs> seek refuge at the mall anymore. Gadgets, video, and info on your next assignment. <laughs> this better be urgent, Jer. You interrupted a very important shopping spree. Actually, this mission hits very close to home. It seems something or someone is kidnapping shoppers at exclusive stores called All the Rage, destroying the stores in the process. Destroying stores and abducting people while they shop? How evil and horrible. I know, I know. I'm here for you. Who could be behind this? That's where you come in. You'll be going undercover. As three gorgeous shoppers? Actually, as three TV fashion reporters. Um? Of course, as three gorgeous TV fashion reporters. You'll be going to Cairo, where we're fairly certain this group's next action will be. It's your job to find out where they are and... Yeah, yeah, we know. Come on, girls. We have to save a store. Hang on. Huh? Don't forget your gadgets. Oh, yeah. My favorite part of our missions. Ultra Energy Laser Lip Balm. Jetpack backpacks, hair pit monster grips, fume emitting cameras, voice alterer, compact parasol which doubles laser swords, and of course some cash. Hello, it's the 21st century. We all have credit cards. The C A S H Alex is a changeable application spy halter top. Could be a parachute or meta flotation device. Cool. Oh uh, yes, only the coolest for you girls. Well, cheerio. Good luck in Cairo. Yet. 
I'm gonna go look around. Messenger. Ah, yes. Here's the scoop. The calm man on the tape is Simon Tucker. He's a former owner of a popular mom and pop store in Ireland that was bought out by Harrow's, the high-end store that recently opened a mall near Dublin. Simon Tucker fought to save his store, but couldn't. But why would he be kidnapping people? Sounds like we're going to Ireland to find out. You are spot on correct, my dear. Ta-ta. <sighs> Hi, I'm calling about... Hey! You're the shoplifter. I am so not the shoplifter. I'm totally innocent. That's her. That Clover girl. Uh, what is she doing there? She's a liar. You better turn yourself in, you Tim. Why is that little witch Mandy there? Ugh, who knows? I'd like to squash her overly perfumed head. <laughs> formerly have a shop on this site. We bought him out and built over him. That's business. He mustn't have been too happy about that. He was paid handsomely. Now, please leave the star. We only cater to a select upscale clientele, and uh, you're not huh? it. <gasps> you really must leave, or I'll call security. OK, I'm having enough trouble with mall security. Girlfriend, let's go. We've been kicked out of better stores than this. If this store is built over Simon Tucker's old shop, then maybe we should drop by later to do a little after-hours spotting. <laughs>
weird is that? A bunch of anti-mall freaks chasing us with wooden clubs. Freaky indeed. It appears the club is made from a very rare Sydney red gum tree, which only grows in Sydney, Australia. So the wackos get their wood from Australia. Okay. Is Simon Tucker from Australia or something? Fair assumption, but we're not definite. What we do know is that his former store was an Australian import shop. <laughs> no wonder his store went under. Speaking of under, you two will be leaving for Down Under in one hour. Good day, ladies. Simon Tucker. Should be cake. Luckily, Australia's a tiny little girl. Oh, wait. Did you hear something? Yes, love and groovy times, baby. What is this place? And what's with those patches? Are those people doing Tai Chi? Attack! <gasps> Destroy them! of her like now designed a better prison myself. Yeah, I hope there's a sale going on. Simon Tucker! That's me. Welcome to your final minutes as misguided materialistic consumers. After my technicians apply these to your fragile temples, I'll be proud to have you in my army. We are not joining any army of yours. You're from Beverly Hills, aren't you? Yes, and proud of it. And you love shopping. Then you'll love this. Sweet! These are fabulous! And expensive! Oh, they totally match that short blue skirt you just bought! Beverly Hills is a scourge, the ultimate paradise for evil shoppers. It's the most heinous example of consumerism on Earth. Down with consumers! Down with malls! Stop mall shoppers! Demolish the malls! I don't know what Beverly Hills you're talking about. And you are not going to get away with your evil plan. By the way, uh -huh. what, what is your evil plan? Well, since you'll soon be helping to carry it out, I guess I can tell you. I plan on ridding the world of all materialism and consumerism. The very things that ruined my life. I and ACT, my anti-consumerism teams, will destroy malls around the world, starting with the new mall in your Beverly Hills. No way, you creep! You can't! Oh, that's our new mall. Nothing's going to stand between us and that mall. You're going down, mister! <laughs>
hours over Paris. Obsessive shoppers. I swear I didn't steal it. It was found in your bag. That's the point. And you have to deal with the consequences. And they're not pretty. You have to believe me. Please. I am not the kind of person who'd steal. Case closed. It was in your bag. You are not gonna lie your way out of this one. No one gets away with calling me Beauty Queen and not really meaning it. This should bring down that pathetic wannabe. You! I knew you were in on this! Nice try, lady. I hereby assign you to two weeks on the store's cleaning crew. I have it. 
stand to imagine. Professor Elliot? Opportunity to show off my new moon ring. I have to go into super show off mode right away. Let's see. What color dress would best accent my ring? Well, at least some things never change. Attention, all students. The winner of this year's most charitable teen award is. Mandy. Mandy? Most charitable teen? Gone for one weekend and the entire world goes insane? The only one who's insane around here is you. For thinking I wouldn't walk away with this contest, hands down. The fact is, I happen to be the most giving person at Bev High. Of course, promising to donate my new genuine 10 karat ruby ring didn't hurt my chances either. Does oh. that thing come with a dimmer switch? Brilliant, isn't it? I guess I'll just have to show off that trinkety little mood ring somewhere else, Clover. Please, like I really care about some pathetic contest or your gaudy ring. Well then, how come your mood ring is glowing bright green with envy? See you losers at the dance. on the other side of the field five minutes ago. Clover, what are you doing? I don't see any harm in just trying it on real quick. Oh, oh, excellent. Right on schedule for your latest mission. Get it? <laughs> schedule? Yes, unfortunately we get it, Jerry. Well, there you have it. Talk about your cliffhangers! Hey, Jer, if we knew this was a movie party, we'd have brought popcorn and pillows and better movies. Oh, this is not a movie, girls. It's actual footage from the Temple of Bennu, an ancient mummy's tomb. And the professor you saw has really vanished. At least that's the story, according to his young assistant, Ian Flemish, when we found him wandering in the desert, mumbling about a curse. Oh, like a real curse? Do our gadgets even work against curses, Jerry? Don't worry, Alex. There's no such thing as a real curse. Yeah, remember? We're spies. We deal in fact. Not chasing after missing Easter bunnies. Yeah, right. Wait, the Easter bunny's missing? <laughs> Just kidding, guys. I know the Easter bunny is tucked away safe in his little toadstool house up in the fjords of British Columbia. And on that illuminating note, if you girls will follow me, I'll give you your gadgets. To help you find the mission professor, you will be supplied with laser lipsticks, tornado in a can hairspray, and a brand new item, the Turbo Shovel 2.0. Oh, and I almost forgot, this book on the mysteries of ancient Egypt. Oh, ew, why is it so old and crusty? It was mine in college. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a funny joke, Jerry. <laughs> that wasn't a joke. Oops. <laughs> My bad. Is it me, or does the air pressure in the whoops 
subatomic jet make anyone else's ears ring. Speaking of rings, Clover, you better call Mandy and let her know you found hers. I guess you're right, Sam. But doing the right thing can sometimes be so annoying. Hello, Mandy, it's Clover. I just called to tell you that I found your- Clover? I don't know why you're calling me, but could you please not tie up my line right now? I am in the middle of a crisis! My wing is missing! telling Mandy off. You can tell her later. Let's get out of here. Whoa. Ew, what a creepy place. Yeah, who's this decorator, Dracula? Good afternoon, <laughs> ladies. Oh, sorry if I startled you. I was just looking for my cufflink. It must be around here somewhere. Uh, maybe we can help. We're the spies from Whoop. I'm Sam, and this is Clover and Alex. You must be Ian. Welcome to Oxford. From what Jerry has told me, you're just the girls to help me find the second scarab of Isis. The second scarab of Isis? We thought we were supposed to help you find the missing professor. Yes, but unfortunately, I'm afraid Professor Elliot is beyond finding. You see, he fell victim to the curse of a Munra. Uh, the curse of a Munra? Can you tell us exactly how the professor disappeared? I couldn't really say. You see, one moment he was standing next to me, and the next, he was gone. See, guys? I knew curses were real. Yeah, real phony. Now, if you could just show us where you last saw the professor, we'll take it from there. Certainly. If you ladies will excuse me, I need to prepare for our trip to the desert. And please be careful not to touch anything in this room. Several of these items are cursed. Where'd he go? Don't you just love the way he's so dark and mysterious? I can't believe an educated person would actually believe in curses. Really? I mean, as if something bad could happen just by opening some old armoire. Please. There's nothing inside here but some old black socks. Uh, Clover? That's not an armoire. And those aren't socks. <laughs> shovel with a button. What could be more simple? Ugh, like Rose! 
So much for the Turbo Shovel 2.0. Maybe the Turbo Shovel 3.0 will be better. So what do we do now? Hey, maybe the writing on that stone box can help us. in the tomb where Professor Elliot disappeared. It's the second scarab. Ew, wouldn't this make like the hottest hair clip? <laughs> it's must run throughout the entire valley. Huh? Alex and Ian are totally gone. Now we have to find them and the missing professor. Don't you think it's strange that only Professor Elliot disappeared from that tomb and not Ian? And then we found the cufflink in the tunnel where he said he'd never been before. But why would Ian lie to us? I don't know, but I'm calling Jerry to see if he has any more info on our mysterious Ian. <laughs> Hello, you've reached Cherry at Whoop Headquarters. I'm having a high tea right now, so please... The English are me. so Not weird. Off. Need more info on Ian, Jerry. Call us back. Any other ideas? How about we find out where this tunnel leads? Yeah, I guess. But honestly, I was hoping you'd want to try and find a mall instead. <laughs> last time I wore designer boots to the desert. <laughs> Wait a sec. Apparently our mysterious curse needs axle grease. Job. In line for Professor Elliot's job, huh? Thanks, Jerry. Over, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes. If we don't get out of this warm thing soon, the humidity is going to, like, permanently frizz out our hair. No! Ian kidnapped the professor so he'd be promoted. It all totally makes sense. Um, that's great, Sam, but then you'd have to ask yourself why would Ian tie himself up? <laughs> Ian? Alex? I don't get it. So if Ian isn't behind the disappearance of Professor Elliot, then who is? One guess, <gasps> ladies. Professor Elliot? Place these two scarabs with the final scarab at the base of the Temple of Isis. I will gain eternal life and power. Any other questions, silly girl? Terrific. Another villain with delusions of grandeur. Seems to come with the territory. And now I must bid you all farewell. Don't worry, though. Perhaps someday an archaeologist will dig you up. Face? No, try to reach 
is to stop the professor. Hey, I say why walk when we can ride. <laughs> so, how do we get this oversized metallic cocktail wiener moving? Look, there's a list of all the ruins in the valley on this dial. Cool! We can just turn the dial to the Temple of Isis and press autopilot. <laughs> I don't have all eternity, or at least not yet. Ah! Yes, yes, it's working. Soon I will be invincible. No more lectures or grading poorly written term papers. What the Seen. You mean faux as in phony?
class. I think Shirley has issues. Ow! I didn't realize it was Help the Needy Day. Hello, Mandy. What are you doing here? I was just getting an aromatherapy bath. Ugh. You three should try one. <gasps> What's with the bandage? It's a tattoo. Tats are totally in right now. I'm having a coming out pool party for the unveiling this Saturday. Only the coolest people are gonna be there. You and Sam are coming, right, Clover? We are? You two qualify. I think it's cool that you two can walk around with last year's hairstyles and still act secure. Oh. What about me? As if, you are definitely not cool enough. Not cool enough? All need right now is a nice sauna. So what does Mandy know about being cool? Did you see those hip huggers she was wearing yesterday? Hello, 1970s calling. I'm not cool enough. All right. But if I got a tattoo, I'd so be invited to that party. I'll show her. What do you guys think? Maybe it wouldn't be so bad getting a tattoo. Alex, gross. Tattoos are like permanent. Okay, this is a little more sauna than I had in mind. Hello, girls. Sorry to have dragged you away from your conversation just when things were getting a bit steamy. <laughs> Hello, not funny much. Can you have waited? We're all stinky. I'm afraid we've got a situation. The leading nations of the world are getting ready to begin talks on world unity. The talks are scheduled to begin following a unity concert held in Russia. Unfortunately, one of the singers of the headlining act has disappeared. This act is a favorite of the Russian president's daughter. If they don't appear, the talks could be in jeopardy. Who's the headlining act? The platinum-selling boy band Teen Sickle. Teen Sickle? Oh my gosh, I love them! They're our favorite band this week! <laughs> okay, which member disappeared? I believe his name is Mikey. <laughs> Mikey? He's the cute, sensitive one! What's the big deal? They're just wannabes. Since when aren't you a fan, Alex? Since always. I prefer the old school boy bands who were popular last year when being a boy band meant something. Bands like Boy Candy. I like to keep a few pictures handy. <laughs> this is T-Bone, the lead singer. He is way hot. <sighs> Whatever! Whatever. So when do we get to meet them? They so have to know I am their number one fan. Clover, try and focus on the mission. Mm, yes, well, maybe we should get another whoop team to... What? No way! We'll be good! Promise! Very well. Whoop would like you girls to go undercover as presidents of the Teen Sickle fan club. This will give you access to interview the remaining two members. Keep an eye on them in case the kidnapper returns. World unity hangs in the balance on this one, girls. Now, let's take a look at your gadgets. Scanner watches, laser lipstick, expandable cable bungee belts, and a new device the boys are calling flavor phones. Functioning stereo headphones that release a protective crash proof software when activated. <laughs> girls? It's time to rock and roll. Oh. So you girls are present. 
residents of our fan club. That's right. Um, we heard about Mikey's abduction and thought you might need some help with the tour. I'll start. Who needs a hug? Uh, Sam, the mission, concentrate. Mikey's disappearance has got us pretty freaked out. I mean, a year ago we were orphans, living on the street, begging for food. Oh, you guys were orphans? Oh, <laughs> no, not really. Huh. That's just something the promo department came up with. Gives us street cred. Our parents are super cool. We're just doing the boy band thing to jumpstart our acting careers. Well, don't worry. We're here to make sure everything goes smoothly. You guys oh. have nothing to fear with us around. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? Because you were kidnapped, weren't you? What? That's crazy talk. I just took off to the desert. Been lying in mud watching the cactus flowers bloom for the last few days. Dude! You're back! We thought something happened to you. Oh, I'm fine. Let's sign some autographs. <laughs> uh, so what now? Is the mission over? This is totally bogus. I need at least another hour to make one of them fall in love with me. Wait a sec. Since when does Mikey have a double chin? And I distinctly remember reading that each member of Teen Sickle has a 30-inch waist. <laughs> Something's not right. Well, for now, I guess it looks like the mission's over. Time to head home. Give it up, girlfriend. Our shot at rock and roll lifestyle is not to be. There's just something we missed. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Ew, will you look at that? You are definitely coming to my party on Saturday. I might even let you pull off my bandage. Uh, great. David totally thinks she's cool. That's it. I'm getting a tattoo. Something that will really impress people, like a, a flower or, or a pair of espadrilles. A flower? I think I found something. Remember what Mikey said about watching the cactus flowers bloom in the desert? Well, cactus flowers don't bloom for another three months. Why would one of my possible boyfriends to be lie? Team Sickle's playing a concert tonight in London before they leave for Russia. Maybe we should make an appearance. <laughs>
guy? What guy? There's no one in the elevator but me. Okay, we definitely saw somebody grab you, and you were screaming about being a fragile peach. I think someone's playing a little trick on you girls. I'm fine. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a plane to catch to Russia. Hello? Am I here? Did that just happen? Guys, look at this. Ew! Sam, don't touch. I'm just gonna take a sample to scan. Collagen? Isn't that the stuff rich old ladies put in their lips? So whoever left this pile must have had really big lips then. Not quite. Check this out. It's wire. Something written on the side. Starlight Studios. Hey, these are posters for boy candy. You know, they might make a cool tattoo. I could get all three members of Boy Candy spread across my... We'll talk tattoos later. We don't have much time before the Unity concert. <coughs> Who are they? Oh my gosh, they're clothes! Those are the same outfits Mikey and DJ were wearing at the concert! <coughs> Whoa, that's not Mikey and DJ. It is us! I'm Mikey! And I'm DJ! No way! You're both, like, way old. You're totally in your 30s. Somebody stole our faces! Oh, gross. How can we prove to you we're telling the truth? Hmm. Ah, what's your favorite food? Mac and cheese with chopped hot dogs. Ideal girlfriend? Smart, modest, makes us laugh, loves animals, but prefers dogs. Cause we're, we're allergic, allergic to, to cats. It's them! Oh, let me ask you, is the cat thing a real sticking point? Cause see, I have this little kitten, but it's really cute. Clover! What happened, you guys? Somebody grabbed us, knocked us out. I remember a machine, a freaky machine. We got company! Are those guys wearing Mikey and DJ's faces? look familiar. No way! That's T-Bone from Boy Candy! I have to get an autograph! Alex, if that's Boy Candy, then it's a pretty safe bet they're the ones stealing Team Sickle's faces. Nuh-uh! Not Boy Candy! Maybe they just found the faces and came to return them. Hey! <gasps> or maybe not. Time to motor! <gasps> <laughs> Jerky. It'll be okay. We'll get you a good astringent. 
The fate of World Unity depends on Teen Sickle being able to perform at the concert. Well, we got a little problem with that. The Teen Sickle on its way to Russia are imposters. We need to get to the concert fast. Oh dear. Well, in that case, look up. No dairy. I'm kind of doing the vegan thing. Uh, uh, yeah, that would be awesome. Cool. Clover, Sam, you guys want to come too? Huh. After all, we're all just friends, right? Yeah, sure. We're all just friends for now. Stay, Professor. You're gonna be locked up for a long, long time. We'll see about that. No, 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 
mouth. Ha! Take this, alien lowlife. Well, it's impossible. How can I be melted when I clearly have on my power belt? Oh. Good morning, Jerry, old boy. Good day, Mr. President. Uh, do we have a situation, sir? Situation? Heck no. I just like using the red line because of the hands-free feature, see? Impressive, sir. Thanks. Anyhow, how about you and me doing some fly fishing this weekend and maybe chewing the fat about you joining the A-team here in Washington? A White House appointment, sir? Exactly. <gasps> so get your secret spy self down here real quick, like? Yes, sir. Oh, uh, uh, just one more thing. Ladies, without a doubt, we are lean, mean, retail shopping machines. Yeah, we came, we saw, we kicked the sidewalk, still, <laughs> but... Strike a pose, Tony? We have to. I mean, good friends, the mall. <laughs> this is definitely a say cheese moment. oversee the safekeeping of his daughter, Madison. We're your babysitter! Well, if you want to put it that way, but this mission is extremely important to me. Huh? Well, we do get to hang out at the West Wing, and it's not like some sleepover pillow fight thing, right? Absolutely right. So, are you gonna give us some gadgets or what? Oh, yes, yes, uh, gadgets. For this mission we have the padded shoulder portable parasail, the expandable cable carrier, the friendship rings, a conium tracker, and numerous net grenades. Well, if we're all equipped, the White House awaits. Perhaps you girls should have buckled up. And maybe we should have called first. Actually, it's oval. You know, as in oval office. Well, put a rattlesnake in my pocket and ask me for a match. How y'all doing, Bubba? I'm very well, sir. Bubba? What's up, Bubba? Got me. I'm still trying to figure out that rattlesnake thing. I'll take it from here, Nutsfield. 10-4, sir. Mr. President, I'd like you to meet three of Whoop's top agents. Sam, Clover, and Alex. Howdy, ladies. My daughter Madison and her nanny, Mrs. Quivers. My father told me how you guys go around saving the world and stuff. I just wanted to say thank you. Oh, sure. Absolutely. No biggie. Well, ladies, uh, I'm gonna have to steal Jerry away while the fishing's good. Uh, Miss Quivers will fill you in. Here's Madison's afternoon schedule, Madison's recreation schedule, and Madison's schedule huh? of schedules. I huh? believe that's everything. Uh, don't you want to stick around a while? You know, see how we do? Sorry, it's my day off. I'm out of here. <laughs> well, Maddie, I guess it's just us. Want to start with the lunch schedule? Schedule? <laughs> Please, like I'm really going to listen to a bunch of bubble-headed valley girls. Whoa, reality check. Did someone just replace the cute kid with some evil twin? And hello, we are so not from the valley. We're from Beverly Hills. Whatever. If you want to survive today, then follow these rules. Don't bug me, and maybe I won't bug you. Get it? Got it? Good. Well, I can see how this has fun afternoon written all over it. Madison.
Jason, you really shouldn't be eating ice cream before lunch. Huh? Fine, take it! <gasps> <laughs> some serious samitude. Maybe we should cool down. I mean, she is only 11. Okay, if this is what 11-year-olds do, then I'm sending my kids to military school right after kindergarten. Oh, Madison! Auntie Sam wants to have a word with you. <gasps> Oops, maybe it was the other way. Sorry, nice paper mache. so mad. I was just having fun. I never get to have fun. It's always Madison do this and Madison do that. You never mind. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> I can't believe you losers fell for that. Psych! <laughs> that, that little punk just totally played us. Oh, she is so in trouble. She's like majorly grounded times two. Problem, girls. Uh, what makes you think there's a problem, Agent Nesfield? Aggressive banging, bedroom access being denied. Access denied? No, no, we could access if we wanted to, but um, we just don't want to. <laughs> yeah, because um, uh, we feel Madison needs a little alone time. So we're gonna go make her some lunch. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Presidential kitchen. Let's see what's behind door number one. Huh? Huh? Okay, wasn't expecting that at all. Maybe we should make some brownies. Ooh, brownies. Now you're talking. I meant for Madison. You know, as sort of a peace offering. Peace offering? With that brat? Why? Imagine what it's like for her. Your whole life schedule. Secret service everywhere you go. Even your babysitters work for the government. Okay, but if she pulls one more prank, I am giving her a brownie makeover. Madison, open up. We made brownies, and we were hoping we could, you know, start over. Rude much. <gasps> Madison, are you okay? <laughs> Where is she? President's kid or not, if this is another one of her stupid... <gasps> President's daughter, but there's no ransom note. Poor Madison. That thing took her by such surprise she didn't get to log off from her chat room. Hmm. Of course. Why leave a ransom note when you can leave? Mr. President. 
President, I'll be brief. If you'd like to see your daughter again, prisoner 34343 in Maryland's maximum security prison is to be brought to the top of the Washington Monument in exactly two hours. Daddy, please, hurry. <gasps> yes, Daddy, hurry. Maybe we should tell Nesfield to call the President. And there goes Jerry's chance for a promotion, too. Major Nesfield here. Girls, you can't keep the president waiting. Where's Madison? Uh, uh, she, she's in the bathroom. Eleven-year-olds, eyeliner freaks. <laughs> but I'll talk. Hi, Mr. President, it's Sam. How are the fish biting? The fish? <laughs> They're jumping out of the water like fleas on a pup. Fleas on my side of the boat. So, uh, how's my little girl? You're not getting any trouble, I hope. Trouble? No, uh, she... She's fine. I mean, what kind of trouble could a cute kid like Madison get into? It's not like someone's going to kidnap her for ransom, right? What? <laughs> Nothing. Well, better get back to those fishies. Bye-bye. Sir, ground floor is reporting a loud crash outside the library. Something just fell out of the sky. I'll be back. We'll be right here. Not. Come on, we gotta get Madison back before Nesfield figures us out. How do we do that? The kidnapper wants to trade for that prisoner. <clears throat> Not a problem. What exactly are we looking for? Overcoats, hats, anything that will fool the kidnapper into believing one of us is the prisoner. Check this out. I don't even want to think about that pajama party. Come on, keep looking. They're here. Let's go. of the monument. I mean, why can't prisoner exchanges ever take place in the monument gift shop? That would be too easy. Hold on. Where's the president's daughter? You get the girl on the way up. I take my friend here and go down. Shall we? <laughs> what is this? Time for you to get busted. <laughs> shows up. I'm afraid it's too late for that, my dear. Because I am the kidnapper. Scientist guy happens to be my husband. Husband? 
Yes. I simply don't want the father of my twins rotting in jail for the next hundred years. You see, Mrs. Quivers is really one half of the famous Svetlander gang. The counter-espionage group that threatened world destruction by detonating explosive devices at vulnerable earthquake fault lines across the continents? That's right. We were just one tiny microchip away from holding the world hostage. Hard to believe, hmm? Yeah, I'll say. I mean, that guy's like barely half your height. My dear, love is not measured in inches. Oh, that is so sweet. <coughs> Unfortunately, your interfering with my ransom plans has forced me to threaten the president <gasps> face to face. Robbie, Bobby, start the cell walls. <laughs> Sorry, but they've given me no choice. Oh, I almost forgot, girls. Thanks for filling in for me today. It was a great day. Great, now what? In a minute, we're gonna be Swiss cheese. This cell dropped down on us from the ceiling, right? Yeah, so you should have noticed it's made of really, really heavy metal that can't be lifted. Maybe we can't lift it. Bet our bungee belts could. Quick, tie your belts around one corner. Point the bungee hooks to the skylight. Today. Well, what's going on? What's going on, Mr. President, is the ransoming of your precious daughter. Call the prison or Maddie takes a swim class with the fishes. I don't understand. You don't need to understand. All you need to do is take out your cell phone and dial. Now! I'm so sorry, sir. My agents should have prevented this. Listen, it's the President. Patch me through to Warden Jenkins. Maryland Maximum Security real quick like. Warden, listen, I need you to... about war. I was wrong about you guys. You're okay. Thanks. You're pretty okay yourself. 
You know, Mr. President, about me coming to work for you. I know where you're going with this, Jerry. You're right. Stealing you from Whoop would be a downright disservice to the country. So I accept your formal withdrawal. You do? Well, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Well, guess it's bye, y'all. Maddie and I have to start looking for a new nanny. Sorry, Jerry. I know how much you wanted that position. But the truth is, we're totally psyched you're still our boss. Ladies, after seeing the three of you in action, I'm glad I'm still your boss, too. Oh. Uh -huh. Hugs! without being seen. You're right. Everyone's so worried about being late for class, they didn't even notice us. Uh. Mandy! Guess again. That's my name, don't wear it out. I prefer not to use it at all, but you keep showing up. You losers! Mind telling me what's up with that totally bizarre, totally pathetic attempt at a covert bed high drop-in? You mean the, the skydiving club? It's not covert, anyone can join. Really? Where do I sign up? Oh, actually, the new session, it doesn't start until next year, but uh, we'll keep you posted. <laughs> what is that noise? Uh, homeroom bell? <laughs> oh, girl, are you giving me a hand here? Huh? Hi, Mandy? Oh, you mean that noise. Um, that's just the latest Plasma PDA with video phone satellite uplink. Everything and I have never seen this. Just pull your release cord, Alex. Hmm. <gasps> okay, you freaks are officially up to something because no fabric in the world could weather a fall like that. Except this new microfiber from Paris. All the trendy boutiques carry it. You really should update your wardrobe, Mandy. Well, don't be late for class. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Close. From now on, no more parachuting in. I don't care how late we are. Good afternoon, girls. <gasps> Jerry, we can't take another mission right now. We have a midterm to study for. I'm sorry, girls, but college students have been disappearing in the Canadian Northwest. Studying can wait. We've got student hotspots to check out. Compiling a list of hotspots in a three-mile radius of the college. Yes, Gladys, I was about to request that you compile a... The problem of the list complete. Hmm. Burger Buddies, Chili Vanilli Frozen Yogurt, Das Coffee House? Bingo, that's the one. Das Coffee House? Well, how can you be sure? Please, anyone crazy enough to compete with Mega Coffee Mart is up to something. So what gadgets do we have for this mission, Jer? You'll be issued your head for cover hoverboard, ultra-sensitive earring microphone communicators, <gasps> mini charm bracelets, and our newest invention, hot off the design table, the second skin. Hot is right. I want one of those for the prom. It repels, resists, and releases any exterior substance. How impressive. 
No one has ever cracked Whoop's security before. Well, what is that? A club for weirdos? It's the World Organization of Human Protection. We help the world. Secretly, of course. So, you're like spy? Precisely. Uh, that's all, Baldy! I got manicured nails and I know how to use them. Tenacious. You should see me after a pedicure. <laughs> and a quick wit to boot. How would you like to join our team? She's the perfect candidate. I've been searching for another spy for weeks now. And imagine how easy the training will be since you girls already know each other. You mean I get prestige, world travel, a cute little phone, and they get to torture these losers? <laughs> ah, sign me up. <laughs> 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 with that giant head of yours. What kind of ridiculous accessory is a jetpack anyway? I mean, it doesn't even match my shield. <gasps> Can't believe we're stuck with her? It's the absolute worst thing ever. Whatever! Just get this fashion faux pas off me! Either you stop complaining or we're going with the head shaving thing! Go! Okay, girls, it's spy time. Ooh, which means we need to blend with the college crowd. Oh, 
Ray missed her. We better call Jerry. How's the mission, girls? Terrible. Mandy's totally irritating us, and we lost Sam. Oh, my. We found one of her earrings, and it's all charred. Poor Sammy. What do you think happened to her? I'm afraid I don't know. But you should come home. We're not leaving Sam behind, Jer. I know it's difficult. But I need to do an analysis on the earring, and you need to study for your midterm. Bye! Oh, this case is more boring than Clever's hairstyle. <laughs> I can't stand the thought of not knowing where our poor Sam is, or if she's okay. This is all Mandy's fault. If I didn't have to babysit, I could have helped Sammy sooner. Why would Jerry do this to us? It's like our worst nightmare. Get rings, spy sisters! Ah! <sighs> Yeah, emphasis on secret, Mandy. As in, you can't reveal our identities or we're as good as useless on a mission. Huh? Ah, it's good to see you girls getting along. <gasps> now, I just received the analysis on Sam's earring. Apparently, it was shorted out by really strong coffee. Then we better get back to Doss Coffee House pronto. Yes, you know, I'm just gonna skip this part of the mission. I haven't had a chance to show off my new outfit yet. <laughs>
soon the gates will open, and coffee will literally pour out and deluge the streets. Mega Coffee Mart will rule the day they rejected my application. I know coffee! You could learn a little something about customer service. Yeah. <laughs> Things didn't go well? I need to forget this horrible, disgusting mission ever happened! You have to make it go away! Hurry! Before she changes her mind! Use the reprogramming tool, Jer! I don't know, Jer. I mean, maybe Mandy should be a spy. Is that a coffee filter in your hair? <laughs> <laughs>
to the designer clothes for the needy charity drive. You don't think that instead of shopping on Rodeo Drive, Mandy's shopping on Charity Drive? There's only one way to be sure. My sweater has my initials on it. Do you still put your initials on your clothes? What are we, in kindergarten? I'll have you know monogramming is all the rage. Uh, <laughs> yep, that is definitely my old sweater. First the bus, then the bologna sandwich, now this? Could Mandy be totally broke? <laughs> oh! Oh! This isn't helping my Good afternoon, ladies. What is with the robot with the chip on his shoulder, Jer? You girls really must brush up on your martial arts skills. Whoops, you training robot beat you in less than 10 seconds. Sorry, we've been too busy actually saving the world to practice saving it. Ow! You really should see a dentist about that tooth, Alex. It's pointless trying to talk to her, Jer. We've been telling her that all day. Oh. Several notable people have gone missing in the past two days. The CEO of a multinational bank, Mia Hansen, the actress, and Myra Sokolov. Famous ice skater? The very one. They've disappeared without a trace, but what's most puzzling is there doesn't seem to be any connection between them. I'm just cross-referencing them now. Huh. That's weird. What's weird? Jerry's almost right. Hmm? There's no connection between them except one. 
they all go to the same dentist, a Dr. Logan J. See? Going to the dentist was their first mistake. Ow! Today you'll get the Wind Puddle 9000 Laser Tornado Blast Hair Dryer, the Hologram Projection Moon Ring, and the Laser Nail File. Good luck on your mission, ladies. Forget it, Jer! We're not falling for that again. Even think about it, or I'll sell you for parts, you giant bucket of circuits. Who <laughs> exactly did we change into disguises for? The rats? Let's split up. See what we can find. Yuck! Please tell me these were the befores, not the afters. Wow, Dr. J sure had some famous clients. <laughs> is it my imagination, or is that rat some... like it's laughing? I don't know, but we better send the gas to Jerry for analysis. Quarter and a pocket full of lint. 
Don't ask. Any news on Sam? Just what I was trying to tell you before I just launched my new Biorhythm satellite. It can track Sam's unique physical signature anywhere in the world. It's fully compatible with your X powders. Check it out! Sam's in Paris! This mission just got a whole lot cooler. Oh, except for the part where our best friend's been abducted. Hey! Where'd Alex go? Just give me one second to kick this hunk of metal's butt back to the scrap heap. Hey! Don't feel bad, Alex. Whoop made sure our training robot was virtually undefeatable. <sighs> Every time I'm kidnapped, the bad guy takes me to some dank hole in the middle of nowhere. <sighs> How come I never get Paris? Sam is directly below us in the penthouse suite. We're gonna have to bungee in. You know what? If you don't go to the dentist soon, I'm going to bungee that tooth right out of your mouth. All right, all right, I'll go. Department of world-renowned model Dunstan Cruz. Okay, Spill, how do you know that? Oh, well, there's this completely illegal but completely gnarly gossip scene that puts out a celebrity apartments of the world issue every year. You should really check it out. <laughs> <laughs>
cosmetic dentist to the stars. I could make anyone smile picture perfect. It's all I ever wanted to do until... What? Until what? It wasn't my fault. The president didn't follow my instructions. He left my patented whitening solution on too long and it ate through his teeth. He had my license removed. <laughs> I'm back for revenge. Ah, always with the revenge. Soon, everyone in the entire world will be dental freaks under my control. To the chopper! <gasps> Luckily, I'm here to finish what Dr. J started. This should make you nice and sleepy. I feel woozy. If only I had the laser air file. I don't know what you put up my nose, but my tooth feels way better. Ladies, looks like our new training robot paid off after all. And thanks for curing my toothache, Dr. J. Whatever was in that anesthesia really worked. <laughs> <laughs> Normal size a little quicker. This 
bag. Once again, restores my status as the undisputed fashionista of Beverly Hills. So I do feel kind of bad that it only cost me 50 cents. You could always pay Mandy what it's worth. Hello, who said anything about feeling that bad? <gasps> Party started, shall we? If he starts dancing, I'm out of here. In just one week, we've seen trucks, buildings, and businesses torn apart with no rhyme or reason. Just pure wanton destruction. Who would want to destroy wontons? Chinese food is like my favorite. <laughs> Apparently, someone's been skipping English class, which leads me to this. <gasps> They're totally our age, except they look like a bunch of dropouts. Oh, these are no high school rejects. Far from it. Athletics, the arts, Every one of these children was tops in their field. What? Until they all went bad. But why? Too much sugar? Violent cartoons? Poor fashion choices? I become such the raging grump when I accidentally wear clashing colors. All wonderful guesses. But perhaps the X powder could provide further insight. Here we go. This database will cross-reference all the kids' backgrounds. There. All the kids attended Camp Achieve a lot within the last two months. Then they went wild. More like Camp Crazy a lot. Pack your things, girls. You're going to camp. Sorry, dear, but campfires dry my hair out, and besides, I don't even own any camping gear. Well, this isn't that kind of camp. It's a top-notch training facility. As for the gear, let's leave that to Gladys, shall we? Here you go, girls. Please promise to take care of these items. Anti-grab go-go boots, ultra-sensitive hearing microphones, and finally, this. Bug spray? Oh, no one said anything about bugs. It only looks like bug spray. The cannon is an instant highly concentrated fog. Perfect for quick escape then. <laughs> It even has a lovely pine-fresh scent. Enough fun for now, girls. Come, we have a long drive ahead to Camp Achieve a Lot. What do you mean, we, Jerry? Well, this time I'll be personally transporting you. Codename, Daddy. <laughs> Yeah, right. 
embarrassing. Totally. Come on, girls. Music is excellent mental stimulus. <gasps> That's it! Music! What if we get a live band to perform at our party? Maybe even dance cool. I'll call them right now. Awesome! <laughs> Wait till Mandy hears about this. <laughs> Too late. Tinsicle's already booked at Mandy's party. <sighs> Goodbye, kids. Mom and I will miss you. Just pretend we don't know him. <laughs> Remember, son, Mommy wants you to come home a winner. Or don't come home at all. I hope you're not here to win, because that position is taken. We're just here to have fun. Whatever. Have fun losing. <sighs> wow, looks like that's our cue. Come on. Next. I hope we can solve this case by Saturday night. <laughs> Next, state your name and your talent. I'm Alex, and um, I guess I'm a pretty good skateboarder. Next. Clever. Dancer supreme. Words kind of fall short for how good I am. Next. Nice to meet you. The name's Sam, and I won six gold ribbons on the accordion. <laughs> you know, Sam, some accomplishments are best kept to yourself. How could so much cool stuff turn kids into maniacs? Maybe a quick scan will answer that. And intensely weird spectral energy readings. Hmm. And those who place first in your chosen fields will appear on the hit TV show, The Dream Dream Team, to be filmed right here live tomorrow night. <gasps> no way! I totally love that show! <laughs> May I remind you, young lady, that you are here to perform, not to have fun. Geez, she should go to Mandy's party. She'd fit right in. <laughs> a skateboarder, huh? Around here, we have a saying. Let your talent do the talk. <laughs> Unless you'd prefer to leave. <laughs> One awesome skateboard display coming up! <laughs> <laughs> Him. Excellent. Report to the evaluation center tonight. Oh. Evaluation center? What's that? Nothing you need to worry about. It's only for winners. Back to your training. You have just one day to impress me. We should spread out and ask if anybody here knew the kids that went bad. Hey, nice spin. Can I ask you about... Hello, I was talking to you. Um, excuse me, can I... <laughs> Didn't anyone ever tell these kids all work, no play makes for lousy weekends? Looks like their talent stops just short of basic manners. Something's definitely not right. I'd like to evaluate that evaluation center. I'd like to see more of that Andy guy. Maybe we should follow him tonight. Great idea. We'll meet outside his cabin. Hey! I wish we could hear what's going on. That's why smart spies accessorize with the super sensitive earring microphone. <laughs> Perfect. Nice toss. Forget the accordion. I think we just found Sam's real talent. I could hear Miss Paragon and Andy. What's going on? Do I get a trophy or something? You don't need another trophy. Huh? We're about to find out how much raw talent you really have. <laughs> <laughs> Earring. 
great. Now Gladys will be on our backs. I'm more worried about those guys with the flashlight. You! Who's there? Don't move! Oh, we were just, um, uh, sleepwalking? Yeah. In fact, we're so talented at sleepwalking, we can even sleep run! <laughs> Your talent. <laughs> I couldn't sleep at all last night. I just know something bad happened to Andy. I checked my fried earring mic. The radiation was off the scale. I bet it's connected to that weird light we saw. Hmm. More than all I have an elephant. Yeah, like you're an evil witch and you're gonna make us miss our own party. Yesterday's skateboard star didn't have what it takes after all. So not only is his spot available, I'll even throw in this fine board he left behind. <gasps> Awesome! Maybe I should go practice my routine again. I've still got a chance. Alex, remember what happened to Andy? I want to get a closer look at that evaluation center. Huh? <clears throat> Intruder headed for the EC. Hold her and wait for my... Whoa! Whoa! Go-go boots? Yeah. <gasps> oh no, Miss Paragon's got Sam! And she's about to play the accordion! We have to get in there fast. Don't worry. 
worry, you'll get your chance. I am like so over force fields. There must be a way around it, or a control box, or what are those? Wait! Good to hear from you, girls. Homesick? Right now? Yes. But first, we need you to help us disable this force field thingy. Hmm, intriguing. I'll see if Gladys recognizes the design. Where's Sam? Uh, destroy! Destroy! Ow! Uh, she's, uh, uh, keeping busy. So, how do we disable this force field thingy? I'm reviewing some schematics now. If you can construct a simple proton phase reverser by modifying the flux of your... Destroy! Ow! Destroy! Never mind, Jared. We gotta cover. Thanks, Sam. Save them from Miss Paragon. Something tells me it won't be so easy. With the TV show tonight, you can bet she's planning something big. Let's go!
work girls. A tad messy, but nice. Sam and the others will be glad to know Gladys is working on reversing Miss Paragon's talent training. <laughs> All Gladys needs is these little cubes, a remote control, and it's showtime. <gasps> Whoa! Wow, it's the Green Dream Team! They're here! I hate to be rude, but we really can't do a show from this pathetic dump. What happened? Maybe you don't have to do the show here. Well, where can we find another venue on such short notice? Um... Ooh! Excuse me. Hey, Pickle! I knew you'd come! Um, actually, we're headed back next door. Can we borrow some ice? We play great together. Yeah, talent isn't always about winners and losers. Sometimes it's just a ton of fun. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. those boots if I have to force Yves Mont Blanc himself to make me a pair on Christmas Day. That's the Christmas spirit. Uh... Speaking of Christmas, you're cordially invited to attend Whoop's holiday bash tonight. Thanks, but no thanks, Jer. We still got major last-minute shoppage to do. Sorry, girls, but the gathering is mandatory. In fact, I need you here right away for a little pre-party mission. On Christmas Eve? But Jerry! I'm not even dressed for a party. <laughs> Now we know what poor Santa has to go through! <laughs> Jerry, what mission could possibly take precedence over last-minute Christmas shopping? Preparing my office for tonight's festivities. Ugh, that's it! I am returning your gift just as soon as I buy you one. I don't mind. After all, this time of year is about giving, not receiving. And speaking of giving, Gladys, give the girls their supplies. Pickle Mop does this room ammonia. Jerry, I have time for this. I have extremely expensive boots to find. But don't be silly, Clover. Your boots will only get ruined with all the cleaning you're about to do. I don't know what's 
worse, this lame party, or these lame outfits? Tell me about it. Like, didn't anyone tell Jerry that Fuchsia is this year's red? And hello, didn't anyone tell him a party's supposed to be fun? And so, Crawford, a former Wu agent turned evil elf, hired a sleigh of reindeer. <laughs> or so he thought. <gasps> this is a nightmare. I'm gonna be stuck at this party for the rest of my life. I'm never gonna find these boots. Is there something I can help you with, Clover? <gasps> can you find a pair of Eve Montblanc boots for me? Affirmative. Eve <gasps> Montblanc. Oopsie. <gasps> oh my, well, that can't be good. <gasps> Statement of the year? She was just about to reveal only the most important information ever. Gee, suddenly I don't feel so silly in this outfit. Alex, please muff up the spilled punch. Negative, Sherry. You are no longer in charge. I am indeed in charge. Okay, that's right out of a horror movie. Uh. You cannot override the security system, Jerry. Only I control it. <gasps> She's right. I'd better contact Agent Mathers. He's skiing in Aspen. Oh, hey! I thought this war fest was mandatory. Now is not the time to nitpick. Oh, my. Gladys is blocking my outgoing message. I have no choice but to disconnect her. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Rethink your plan, Jerry. Sam, laser launcher, top draw. Take her down the old fashioned way. Uh, uh, where's your hard drive, Jer? No one can stop me. The extent of her malfunction is fascinating. Gone are the days when she just controlled my office. Now she controls the entire building. Can we admire your wacko machine later? Like when we're safe? Hmm. This closet is lined with titanium. It should slow down her ability to find us. Okay, so you spilled punch on Gladys? Why is she suddenly so evil? I didn't get that crazy when you dropped jelly on my cashmere. She's probably sick of living in Jerry's shadow. You know, never getting any of the limelight. Hello, she's a computer. She doesn't care about things like that. I'm afraid it's my fault that Gladys is evil. I downloaded her brain from the brain, the world's most brilliant villain. <gasps> she has a villain's brain? A villain who set out to destroy the world by misleading nations into launching missiles at one another. I thought I deleted all the evil synapses. Well, he must have a weakness. Everyone does. Shopping. <laughs> All we have to do is find out what it is, and that's our key to stopping Gladys. Luckily, he happens to be in the building's holding facility. I say it's time we visit the brain. Uh, is everyone forgetting we're hiding in a titanium closet because a freako robot just tried to annihilate us? Not at all, which is why there's no time like the present for a little present. Oh, me first, me first! Oh! Uh, hmm. Oh. <laughs> Realize we're not eight. It's the bubble blaster invisibility shield. We simply ensconce ourselves and move as quietly as possible. Your odds of escaping are infinite. 
infinitesimally minute. Your moves are like an amateur chess player, Jerry. I thought I trained you better. to look for us inside the brain cell. How delightful. I haven't had so many visitors since last Christmas. Unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to get gifts for anyone. Gee, you seem nice. What's up with the whole starting a world war thing? I only wanted everyone to disarm in an effort for world peace. No one complied. So, a world war was the second choice? Ironical much? Yes, but you see, I have this condition. I'm a little crazy. You must be. You didn't even touch your holiday meal. Oh, it's covered in cranberry sauce to which I'm dreadfully allergic. It makes me even crazier than usual. <gasps> cranberry! That's the kind of juice I spilled on Gladys! She must have the same allergy. I bet it triggered the evil part of her brain. That means two ruthless files have just been launched. Checkmate, Cherry. Wherever you are. She's trying to start a world war just like the brain. How are we going to stop her? You can't. But I can. You see, we share the same network of neurons that form the brain's information processing circuits. Hello! High school students here! He's saying he's the only one who can outsmart her since he already knows what she's thinking. If you reduce my sentence by a mere 500 years, I'll help you delete the evil from Gladys's brain. Well, although this is not policy, I suppose we... Not so fast, Jer! Hey, you prison guys can smuggle in anything you want, right? Throw in a pair of YMB boots and you got a deal. <gasps> Agreed, Brain. We have no choice but to trust you. The first thing I need is a jet. I'll use the jet to intercept the missiles, then disable them before they reach their target. I have a better idea. The criminal stays put, and Clover and I take the jet. How will you disable the missiles? With your third gift, the remote virus Palm Coda Decoder. It intercepts computer programs remotely. It's not powerful enough to overtake Gladys, but it should suffice for the missiles. Brilliant. First things first, I'll disable the transmitter on one of the jets so Gladys doesn't control it. Hmm. Okay, so how do we fix Gladys? Simple. The logarithm of acid to base is imbalanced from its imperfect state of four, which is a uh. common cerebral reaction to an antigen. Now you're just being difficult. Gladys became evil when she was exposed to too much acid, the cranberry juice. All we have to do is pump a base into a mainframe to counter the allergy. Genius! Only where will we get a base? You mean, like ammonia? The one I was cleaning! You ran out at home, so I was gonna borrow this. I was gonna pay you back! <laughs> Very nice, Sam. Make or not, 
Puzzle number two, here we come. Mainframe. Beautiful. Pristine. Can we have this love fest later? This won't hurt a bit. Mm. What are you doing, Brain? Do not betray me. We are one. <laughs> where are you, Brain? Brain, where are you? Brain! I actually feel sorry for her. Where are you, Brain? Brain, where are you? <laughs> Jerry? The Brain's plan is working! All my plans work. Well, except the last one. The one that got you here. They're locked in on us! in a 20-pound fruitcake. But we had an agreement. I'm a criminal. I'm not to be trusted. Besides, how else was I going to escape? Okay, now that you've escaped, I think you should turn yourself in. Nice try, but I have a better plan. It's just like my old plan, only more evil. I'm going to launch all of Whoop's missiles at once. Forget tricking countries into going to war. I'll do it myself. <laughs> oh, if only he used his evil for good. <laughs> making sure she isn't turned evil in the process. Most wanted 
Christmas gift. Totally. Merry Christmas, girl. <laughs> wow. <gasps> oh, these are from my dad overseas. I knew he wouldn't let me down. <laughs> what is that? Maybe one of Santa's reindeer has a hernia from carrying all of Clover's gifts. <laughs> Mandy? Seven degrees out here? Yeah! Yeah! Here. Merry Christmas. <laughs> For me? Really? You're like the nicest person I've ever hated. Well, Clover, nice deed. So not like you. I'm proud of you. Finally seeing the spirit of the holiday. Holiday spirit? Hello? Yves Mont Blanc is so last year. Look at these new Georgia Vivaldi's hot off the European runway. Now this is the best Christmas present yet. <laughs> you know, I think Christmas is about more than just gifts. It's really about the spirit of human kindness, about treating others with respect and courtesy. That's why I love it so much. I mean, what other time of year can you get pleases and thank yous even from the baddies you're fighting? It really does bring out the best in people. Light warmers? Hello? Is this a gift or is someone just cleaning out their closet? <sighs> and then there's Clover. 